Samuel Appleton. The Academy's name was changed to New Ipswich Appleton Academy in 1853, about the time of Mr. Appleton's death. This honor was bestowed upon him as a result of his great personal and financial donations to the success of the Academy. Appleton Academy was the second Academy incorporated in New Hampshire, Phillips Exeter preceding it by five years. Also, it was just the third in the United States to be co-educational before 1789. Originally, the Academy section I videotaped included only 61 photographs. This would have comprised only a small portion of one tape in this series. When I discovered the large amount of photographs the Alumni Association had in their possession, I decided to create an additional video, the majority of which was dedicated to Appleton. In order for the viewer to identify the students in most of these group photos, it was necessary to zoom in and create three to five separate shots of each picture. This resulted in the number of individual pictures videotaped to grow to a total of 391. The alumni collection does not currently contain any photographs beyond the class of 1961. I felt this project would have been incomplete without adding in a few photographs of classes up to 1968, the school's final year. As yearbooks do not contain a senior class group picture, I used the junior class picture for each year. In addition, it would be impractical to try to name all of the people in all of these pictures in the time provided. The names are, however, listed on all of the photographs. Should someone volunteer to type up all of the names, they could be added to the document that lists each picture on this video. That, in turn, could then be made available to those alumni who desire it. And finally, the alumni photographs were filmed in the order in which they are numbered and filed, not in any chronological order by year. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you. Old schoolhouses existed in many sections of New Ipswich. They served the small communities of families in these various areas. Many of these buildings are still in existence today. Our first picture is an early photograph of the number one schoolhouse, which is still located on Lower School Street in the center village. Here we have a group of schoolboys out front of their building. Next we see a much clearer view of the number one schoolhouse. This is the number one schoolhouse after being remodeled. The old brick schoolhouse, which is the present historical society building, at the time of this photo, the building was being used as a blacksmith shop. Next we have three views of the number six schoolhouse in Smithville, beyond the cemetery. This building no longer exists. It was located on the right at the intersection of Binney Hill Road and Poor Farm Road. These last two pictures are from 1948, when the building had clearly either been rebuilt or remodeled from earlier times. Here are two pictures of the number five schoolhouse in Smithville, located on the left, up the hill from the flagpole towards the cemetery. It was closed in 1944. The last teacher was Edna Martinson. It's currently the home of Kathy Boyle. 
This second photo was taken in 1949. Next, we have two pictures of the number seven schoolhouse, which was located on the right, approaching from Wheeler Road at the intersection with North Road. It was closed in 1888 and was sold to George Sam Wheeler in 1896. It no longer exists. Schoolhouse number eight was located to the left of 123-124 towards Timbertop Road. It was closed in 1894 and subsequently torn down. This is the number 11 schoolhouse in Bank Village, which was located in the fork of River Road and Old Country Road. And it is currently part of the building that exists in the same spot today. Next we have the number 12 schoolhouse in Highbridge. We see the instructor Bert Preston with his students. This is the same schoolhouse viewed from the hill across the river where it still stands today. The number four schoolhouse in the Gibson district, viewed in 1906. It closed in 1935. The teacher was Rose Hackler. It was made into a house in 1944 and is still located on the right of Matson Road. Here in 1947, we view the number two schoolhouse on the back road to Greenville. It was closed in 1904. The teacher was Maddie Brooks, located at the intersection of Greenville and Temple Road. Next, we have two pictures of the new Central School, built in 1939. Our last two schoolhouse pictures are of the number 13 schoolhouse on Main Street in the Central Village. Our first three photos are from 1907. The first academy building, now occupied as a private dwelling, was built in 1789 and located on Porter Hill Road. The town hall was built in 1816-17 and was first used as both a town hall and a classroom space for the growing academy. The town used the first floor and the academy used the second floor. This building was constructed in 1853-54 and was the first building to be named Appleton Academy. It burned down in 1941 and the current building will be viewed later. Another early view of the academy from the common. This entrance is from the King Road side. This is the entrance from the Old Country Road side. print of E.T. Quimby, the former principal. And this is an artist rendition of the Academy.
This is the Reverend Edward Payson. Another view of the Academy from the Common. Here we have the Appleton Baseball Club. <coughs> Two more views of the Academy building. This is an interesting picture where it shows a gazebo where the gym will one day be located. Here we have great uncle Will Preston, principal of the academy for 28 years. This is Mr. John Herbert, principal of the academy, and his wife. A familiar view of the academy with students milling around. Here we have an autumn view in 1908. This photo was taken in what was called Academy Hall when Dr. Frederick Jones was an instructor. In this example, he gave an ex exhibition with his pupils. This was the Appleton Academy reunion at the New American House in January 1907. Another view of the Academy, this time in 1906. This is Mr. Herschel Lewis, a principal from 1916 to 1929. Here we have a photograph in 1941 of Lester Smith, a principal from 1929. Another view of the Academy in fall. This is the class of 1923, which included Hazel Balch Moore, third from the right. These are the Appleton scales and cash box. The following five photos were taken following the fire of January 23, 
Next, we have two pictures of the cornerstone removed after the fire. It had been laid in 1853. The pictures were taken July 5, 1941 by Hazel Balch. It was opened August 16th at the Historical Society building by Dr. Kaywood. Here we're looking at a pamphlet entitled, Can We Rebuild? It was an appeal for donations to help rebuild the academy. And here we have a picture of the new academy building from the cover of the New Hampshire State Teachers Bulletin in June of 1942. The building was dedicated on 2 7 42. Picture of the front entryway. three views of the building. The next 13 photographs are of various classes and activities into the 1950s. This is the 1958 girls basketball team.
This is the 1958 boys team. This picture is unidentified. This is grade eight in 1957. And this is the senior class in 1957. Finish this section up with two more views of the Academy building. This picture of the Appleton Alumni Association was taken at the dinner on June 8, 1957. Our next six pictures are of the group in attendance at the June 8th reunion. This next picture is from the early 30s. It's a group of students about junior high age. This is the left side of the picture. And this is the right side of the picture. This is the first half of the class of 1948 in the second grade. And this is the second half of the class of 1948. Next, we have the senior class of 1954.
This is the senior class of 1955. The class of 1958. class of 1959. Next we have three pictures of the class of 1949 in Washington, D.C. 